Salut and my good hello friends and welcome to my channel. So today I'm really really excited. I will be starting my 2020 pan those eyeshadows. Finally, I am starting this. I had to declutter and do some stuff before, but like so excited if you can't tell. If if any of you are here that watched my 2019 Panos eyeshadows, I used to have 146 eyeshadows, like eyeshadow pans. Right now I have 86. Like, I'm really proud of myself. I did cluttered a lot. If you want to see that, I will leave it up by think there. If not, it's there. You know the drill, but I don't think I have anything else to say, so let's just randomize some numbers. Actually, I'm going to explain it if anyone has never seen a video like this before. It, a lot of people do this differently. This is how I do it. This is what works for me. It, that's the beauty of this, not challenge, but this project that you can customize it just how you want to do it. So how I do it, I randomly pick five eyeshadows to work on, I update each month um, and I use those eyeshadows in combination with the rest of my collection because I don't want to just completely forget about the rest of my collection but so those are the shadows that I I'm concentrating on trying to hit pan. So I'm not trying to finish any shades, I'm just trying to hit pan and hopefully bring my pan percentage up. Also, yeah, because I decluttered a lot of shades and uh, now my pan percentage is... Wait a moment, my computer is down here. It is 15.12%. So I think we can bring it up to 20, even 25 this year like crossing my fingers. I will probably buy some eyeshadows this year, so the number 86 is probably not going to stay like that. But still, I do believe I can do that. Right now I think I have pan in 13 eyeshadows, so yeah. But really excited to make that number go up. So let's now randomize the numbers. Uh, I just use random.org, let's see, I have from 1 to 86 and I have a spreadsheet in my computer that has the numbers and the names of the shades. So I have both single and palettes, so it's all there, I randomize a number, I get a number, I look, okay, this shade, and then I work on it for the month, or longer, if I don't manage to hit pan on it. The sun is like coming up, so the lighting might change. It was so beautiful earlier today, but I couldn't film then, I was busy. I was like, I was thinking the whole time, oh, the lighting, the lighting, it's beautiful, it's so pretty, I have to film, but I was busy, so. But still, I'm really happy that I'm not in my closet filming. This feels a lot more open and I really, really like the natural lighting. Also, I don't have like a light bulb right in my face when I'm out here. <laughs> but let's randomize the numbers. Wow, I'm really chatty today. It's so bright, it's so happy. I am happy, so that's good. But as you can see, it's from 1, if you, yeah, now you can see it's from 1 to 86 and I will randomize the first number. And the first number is number 40. Let's see. And I'm going to look down in my computer right here and find it. And the shade number 40 is called TMI and is from the Colourpop Give It To Me Straight palette. So I'm going to fetch that and show you what shade that is. All right, so the shade TMI is this a purple one right here. Let's see, this one. And as you can see, it really hasn't been used, like pretty much at all. 
Um, I have only swashed it, so... But I'm really hoping to like it because I will have to work on it. Uh, these Colourpop pants are not that big, but they are pretty deep. I feel like, at least I feel like in these palettes, I worked on a lot of shades in the Yes Please palette last year. And it does really take some time to hit pan, but this is the shade. It is really seasonal appropriate, so I'm really happy about that. Also, I don't think you can see, but I am wearing like purple eyeliner right now, or like purplish, pinkish. Um, and I have really, really been liking that look. Sorry, I was looking in the monitor, just pretty much admiring myself. That sounds... yeah. Well... Still, that was what I was doing, so, sorry. But, so this will probably be used like that for some of the looks, uh, but I will really, really try also to use it in other ways because otherwise it's going to take a long time to hit pan. But let's randomize the next color. I got a notification. Well, so, the next shade is going to be, is it 50? No, 60. Shade number 60 is called Come and Get It and is from the Natural Lust palette. And, funny enough, that is the shade I am wearing as an eyeliner right now. What? What a coincidence, it's really funny. So that is, wait, <laughs> this shade right here. So I will try to take better close-ups and put if this isn't good enough, but yeah. I actually think they are, yeah, they are like tonally pretty similar, but like they're not similar in color, but they could work well together. So I'm really, really happy about that. I'm sorry about those swatches. They are not the best and my hands are like super dry. So it's not going to be the best swatches, but we will deal with that. And the next color, sorry, I'm, I'm in a real like bouncy happy mood. So <laughs> um, let's see. So the next, well, next, well done, the next shade, if I can, yeah, is, what, 67, yeah, 67, and that is also from the Too Faced Natural Lust, and it is called Temptation, and, and that is, let's see, Oh, the sun is setting really fast, so I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about the lighting. Uh, temptation is where. Why can't I find it? No. Mm. Temptation is this color right over here, um, and if you watched my declutter, you would know. That if it wasn't in the palette, I probably would have decluttered it. Uh, this is like a kind of an olive green. It is like a goldish olive green. If you know me at all, you would know. I do not like green. I don't know. I like some shades of green, but pretty much I don't like green on myself. Like. On other people, it can be so good looking, but I don't know. I just, I don't know why, but this is the shade. So, yeah, not as excited about that one, but we, we will work with it. That is also uh, something I do 
like about this like project is that I play with shades that maybe I haven't been that drawn to and I do discover shades that are amazing that maybe I wouldn't have like picked if it wasn't for this project so it is a good way to experiment so hopefully I will find a way that I do like this like olive greenish gold because Lately I haven't been liking gold eyeshadow and I haven't been liking olive or green eyeshadow, so this is just perfect. But the next shade we are picking, or well randomly picking, is 85. That is also from the natural list. This is a 30 shade palette, so you can Imagine that a lot of the shades that will be picked are going to be from this palette because more than one-third of the shades that I have left are from this palette. So the chances of getting this is really really high. The reason being why so many of them are in the natural list. Uh, but 85 is peacocking. I actually do have pan on it. I think it has like I probably smooshed it over. I don't know if you can see it now. Um, but I worked on it last year and I did have pan so I'm going to randomize again. So, well thank you. Now we have 64. That will also probably be in the yeah, 64. Alright, 64 is called Afternoon Delight. That is also... Why do I get so many similar shades? Like, this one is also like a purplish, pinkish, but it's a bit more like brown, I guess. This one is afternoon delight, but you can see there is a pretty distinct color theme if you don't look at the like olive color. So, well, that just means there's going to be a lot of purple looks this month, and hopefully, I will be able to hit pan on some. Although, like, it is unlikely because a lot of these colors I haven't used at all or just a few times and hitting a pan on an eyeshadow in a month is kind of rare, at least for me. But, I mean, we, we'll see. Maybe, maybe we will be able to do that. Maybe, I don't know. But the last shade is... Let's see. 74 again from the natural list palette it's pretty much all from the natural list except for the one that was in the ColourPop give it to me straight palette but what well, it was 70 what I 74 so 74 is called hard to get and it is this one here, the brown shimmery shade. It is a pretty dark shade. I have worn it once because I was really just trying to see if I liked it. It, it was a pretty look but it it is dark so it's it's a bit dramatic but this is it. So it's not the most natural palette, I have to say, but it is a pretty palette, like color palette, so I am excited, a little nervous about the olive green and the dark shade, but still, it's just go it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun, me trying to convince myself that it's going to be fun, no, but seriously, I'm just trying to use my collection. It's going to be fun to experiment, to try new colors. Like, don't 
monkey till you try it. That's what I'm going to say. So this is my color palette for... Well, it's pretty, pretty late in January that I'm filming this, so for the rest of January and then February and I will update you in a month. So, I'm really really excited about this and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to follow along this journey, please subscribe. And I really, really hope you had an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bless, bless.